Good morning, everybody. How was your day so far? Good. So did you see a lot of things at the other farm? Yes. Good, good. Well, welcome to Kenwood Farm. Uh, this is Mr. Sanford and his family's farm. He's joined us over here. You got to meet him earlier today. And uh, he talked about what he does here. He has a, a dairy farm and milks cows every day here. But uh, how many of you ever been to a cow cafe? Some of you think you may have been to a cow cafe. We're not sure if we've been to the cow cafe. Well, the cow cafe is um, sort of like your cafeteria. We just serve different types of uh, animals at the cow cafe. What do we serve at the cow cafe? Cows. At cows, definitely. What are some of your favorite things that you pack for lunch? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay, we don't serve peanut butter and jelly at our cow cafe, but what else do you like to bring for lunch? Uh huh. Cream cheese bagel. All right, Robert. Soybeans. So you you bring soybeans? <laughs> you know the answers to the questions already. What else do you bring for lunch? Cookies. Corn dogs. Um, yogurt. Yogurt. Gummies. Gummies. <laughs> Mini donuts. Mini donuts. One more. My daddy's favorite vice. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you share. <laughs> Sounds like you share with your friends. Well, we don't serve any of those things at the Cow Cafe. We serve a lot different, and when you get up in the morning, you may have choices of what you pack for lunch, or you have choices of what's in your refrigerator that you're going to pack for lunch. At the Cow Cafe, we have the same menu every day, okay? And so, even though we have the same menu, those girls love it anyway. They eat it all up. They don't mind eating the same thing every day, but uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, even though you bring different food items in your packed lunch than we serve here at the cafe, there's one thing that's in common about the food that you eat and the food that the cows eat, and that's its nutrient content. Can anyone tell me what a nutrient is? If you read the, bo uh, the back of your box of cereal or, or the bagels, what's a nutrient that's in the food that you eat? Okay, iron. Yeah, iron's one of the minerals or vitamins. What else? Vitamins. Vitamins. Like the, different vitamins. the different vitamins. Yes, there's different vitamins. Calcium. Yes. Calcium. Protein. Protein. Calories. Calories. <laughs> we always check calories. those calories, don't we? Calories. <laughs> All right, what else? Sugar. Sugar. Sodium. Sodium. Zinc. Oh, fats. 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 Right. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. They're getting them all on you. What else? Zinc. Zinc. You have done a great job. Those nutrients that you just mentioned, proteins, carbohydrates, the calories, the fat, the vitamins, the minerals, those are the things that when your parents pack your lunch, that's what they're thinking about. They're trying to deliver the proper amount of nutrients for you to grow strong muscles, big bones, shiny hair, <laughs> Shiny teeth, yeah. glistening eyes, mm -hmm. smart brains. Yeah. All right? That's why they're <laughs> packing those lunches for you. At the Cal Cafe, we still serve those same nutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, the calories, the fats, the vitamins, and the minerals. And we're delivering that to those cows so our baby calves can grow strong bones, big muscles, and so our milk cows can produce milk. And so we're going to develop a menu today of what the cows eat at Kenwood Farm. So I need two volunteers, and I need Robert, and I need Maddie to join me up here. And at the Cow Cafe, you have to wear a nice chef's outfit. So if y'all would, so if you would, so if you would put on, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Her glasses are too big. All right, let's tie it on. Oh, Maddie, you I can't tell because I'm okay. I'll get it. Oh my gosh, Robert! All right, Maddie, there's a hat on the, there's a chef's hat on the table. Grab it and put it on. Oh, great, he's the chef. You are too. Maddie, the chef! 
Okay. Oh my God. I like it, Maddie. I like it. I like it. All right, Robert, you'll take your state place behind the table here. Maddie, you're going to join me over here at this board. Okay. Where did my menu go? Here we go. You need the pen. All right. So what we're going to do is in the morning, you decide what you're going to pack for your lunch. But every day, Mr. Sanford has a menu already planned for his cows, and it's the one that he uh, puts together every day for his dairy herd. So how many cows are in his dairy herd? Do you remember what he said? How many cows does he milk? 210 is what he talked about in the uh, introduction. So the first thing we have on the menu at the Cow Cafe is corn. All right, Maddie, we serve five pounds of corn to the cow. So if you write five up there next to corn, stand on your tippy toes and get it done. All right, we serve five pounds of corn each day. To, that's what one cow eats. Next, we serve soybeans. All right, at, here at the Cow Cafe, we serve seven pounds of soybeans to each cow a day. Our next menu item is corn, silage, oh, there's an A in there, corn silage. We serve 20 pounds of corn silage. Now I'm going to show you all these things in a minute because I have them all lined up there for you. But let's get our menu written real quick. We serve earlage. All right, Maddie, we serve 10 pounds of earlage. All right, next, we serve wheat silage. We serve three pounds of wheat silage a day. Next, we do chopped hay. We serve one pound of chopped hay. And the final thing is vitamins and minerals and we serve four pounds all right so the cows at Kenwood farm every day eat these feed ingredients five pounds of corn on down Maddie can you add that up for us so we can see how many total pounds they eat a day This is hard because I can't do it all. All right, 50 pounds, just so you know the answer. 50 pounds, okay? Right there, there you go. All right. All right, Maddie's figured it out. This is what we feed. So one cow eats 50 pounds of these feed ingredients every day here. Do you eat 50 pounds of feed a day? No. How many pounds of feed do you eat? They don't eat feed. Ten? You eat food, but how many pounds of food do you eat? I don't know. You usually eat, just like cows, you eat about 3% of your body weight. So if you weigh 100 pounds and you eat 3% of your body weight, roughly, you eat roughly about 3 pounds of food a day. Okay? That's the same with a cow. She eats 3% 3 3 of her body weight to 3.5% of her body weight. And since she's much bigger than Maddie, she eats 50 pounds of feed a day. All right, Maddie, here's another problem. The cow eats 50 pounds of feed a day. How many cows do we have in the milking herd? 210. So how can we calculate how many total pounds of feed that are fed a day at Kenwood Farm? Uh, 50 times 210? Correct, Maddie, correct. All right, can you multiply that for me? Uh, no. All right, what's well, zero times zero? Zero. All right, zero times one. Zero times two. Zero. Zero times one. Zero. Oh, you're going to do a new math for me. Go ahead. Do you know what you're doing? Probably. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me help you out here a little bit. All right. We're going to go zero times zero, zero, zero times one, zero, zero times two, zero. All right, we move to our five. Five times zero, five times one, five, five times two, ten, zero, five, zero. We got to have another zero here. All right, that's pounds. Oh, that's pounds. So at Kenwood Farm, we feed 10,500 pounds of feed a day to those 210 dairy cows. And that provides them the nutrients that they need to produce milk. Okay? Maddie, why don't you join Robert over by the table? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to introduce you to the feed ingredients that we have uh, on our board here. And we're going to mix up the ration. We do the same thing on the farm that we would do in your kitchen. We have to measure five pounds of feed for it. We don't guess at it. We have scales. We measure out five pounds times 210. So when we blend this feed, we blend it all together and they get it like a big salad. Uh, in a trough, so they eat it all together, what we call a total mixed ration. So Robert, uh, what we're going to do is you're going to measure out the corn component of our menu. So how many pounds of corn does Robert need to do for one cow? Five. Five pounds. So Robert, you're going to measure out five pounds of corn. So here's our corn tank, here's a scale. So go ahead and fill it up. And don't be shy, our cows are getting hungry. Oh, They're gonna start on. hollering. <laughs> you got a half Robert. a pound so far. Come on, Robert. You hear them? They're hollering for you. You know, you can do that. Okay. All right, one more. Fill it up. All right, that's two and a half pounds. Drop that in here. Okay, let him concentrate, all right? Let him concentrate. All right, so you need two and a half pounds more, right? All right, so right now he has two and a half pounds. He's going to add another two and a half pounds, and then we're going to go through our menu. That's not quite two and a half pounds yet. No, you have to go. Perfect. All right, that will work. All right, let's give Robert and Maddie a big round of applause to be our chefs. Y'all can stand here till I finish. Look forward and all right. So now our menu calls for five pounds of corn. We have prepared that five pounds of corn because our chefs have measured this out for us. So one cow will eat five pounds of corn. She will eat, she will eat seven pounds of soybean meal. And this is what a soybean looks like. It looks like a pea, a black-eyed pea but it's been ground up so it looks like a meal now. This is seven pounds of soybean meal. So one cow will eat seven pounds of soybean meal. Watch your fingers. What's next on our menu after soybeans? Corn silage. Someone says, what is corn silage? Well, this is corn silage right here. Corn silage is when we go to the field and we chop the stalk, the leaf, the tassel, the ear of corn, the cob, the grain on the corn, we chop it and blend it up just like this. And we do it when it still has moisture in it. So when we chop it, it's wet. And you can feel this. Is, and when we put it in a silo and we take the oxygen away from it, it will ferment. So it has a fermentation odor to it. Why do we do that? Why do we ferment this silage? We do it because we don't want this product to mold or get bacteria in it. By fermenting it, it limits the amount of bacteria and it limits the molding of it as long as we can keep the air away from it. That's why we store it in these big tall silos that you see behind the barn. That's why we can chop it in August and we can serve it in January without it being spoiled and the cows will still eat it. What's next on our menu? Oh, by the way, we serve at the Cow Cafe, it says 20 pounds. This is five pounds. So we serve four to five of these per cow each day. So we've got her corn, her beans, now she's got to eat all this silage. What's next on our menu? Look at our menu, what's next? Earlidge. earlidge. This is earlidge. Well, what the heck is earlidge? Well, earlidge is we pull the ear of corn off the stalk 
and we grind the husk, the cob, the grain of corn, we grind it all up and this is what we get, earlage. And if you touch it, it's not as wet as the corn silage, but it does have some moisture in it. We also store this in a silo or an airtight container to keep it from spoiling. So how many pounds of this does she get? 10, Ten pounds. So she gets three of these. There's, she gets three of these of earlage. Next, what's next on our menu? Wheat, wheat silage. You're familiar with wheat, but you're familiar with the grain of wheat, which grows on a green stalk, looks like grass when it's growing. But we cut it before the grain is formed. So we're not gonna grind wheat for bread because our gals don't eat bread. They eat the silage. So they like to eat the forage or the green part of the wheat plant. And we chop it just like the corn plant. We chop the head, the leaves, the stalk of the wheat plant and we make a silage with it. So this is a wet product. So it ferments. It has an odor to it like it's been fermented. So it can keep till January or through January so we can feed it at a later date. So our cow will get two buckets of these. All right, what's next after wheat silage? All right, next we have chopped hay. What in the world's chopped hay? Okay, but what's hay? Well, it has nutrients in it, but it comes from something that is out in the landscape there. It's dried grass, okay? So we go out here, you can look around you at the green grass growing. When we mow the grass, we allow it to dry. We just let the sun dry it out, and then we bale it in a dry form. And when we dry it out, it stabilizes it so it doesn't spoil. So we can store it in the loft of this barn, and you can see hay bales up in the barn right now. When we dry the moisture out of it by sun drying it, it stabilizes it and we can feed it to our cow. So how many pounds of dry hay do we get? One. One pound. Okay, what's our last feed ingredient? Vitamins and minerals. All right, what we have here, first off, is salt. Our cows like their meals seasoned, so we put a little salt on them, all right? Next, we have a little bit of limestone. Add a little limestone. What minerals in limestone that helps the cows? It's also a, a mineral that is in milk. What minerals in milk that's real healthy? It's calcium. Limestone's full of calcium. So we add it to our rations so the cows get the appropriate amount of, of calcium. What's the other vitamin in milk that's good for you? It's calcium and vitamin what? D. D, vitamin D, exactly. So we put those vitamins and minerals in there and as you can see from our demonstration that that adds up to 50 pounds, that's a lot of feed. As we know that you only eat roughly three pounds, but when we feed 50 pounds of feed to a cow, how, much, how many gallons of milk will she give me after she eats 50 pounds of feed? Anyone have a guess? Um, maybe a hundred. A hundred gallons? Let's go with gallons. How many gallons? Five. Five? You're close. Okay, it's just a shade bit higher. Um, ten. Okay, we usually say every cow's a little different, but she will milk anywhere between eight to ten gallons of milk, but she has to eat 50 pounds of feed, and that feed contains the protein, the carbohydrates, the fats, the vitamins and minerals that allow her body to transform her feed into that milk that it goes to a processor where it's pasteurized and behind me you can see the stainless steel tank where the milk is held till a truck picks it up. It goes to the processor, pasteurized, and then it ends up in your home in your refrigerator. So now you know what it takes to feed cows on a daily basis here at Kenwood Farm. We had to feed 210 cows in the milking herd, 50 pounds to deliver them the nutrients they need to produce eight to 10 pounds of milk. Okay, if you have any questions? Let's give our cow chefs a big round of applause. They did a great job. Thank you guys, we appreciate your help. You may go, you may take your stuff off. There you go. Thank you very much.